In this video, we're going to be using Pedro Fiasco pomegranate and wood and the Edwin Jagger 316 razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your OCDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, I remind you this video is brought to you in part by our sponsor, Leaf. I'll pop up a picture of the leaf and the twig right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB and save yourself some money while shopping at Leaf. Okay, we have a good one for you today, or at least I think we do. We're going to be using Pedro Fiasco, and this is pomegranate and wood. Beautiful scent on this soap, and if you don't know what Pedro Fiasco is, this is sort of the budget offering by Ariana and Evans and the club. If you're a member of the club, it'll come to you at under $8. Uh, and that comes to about $2.13 an ounce on our cost chart there, which is exceptional. Again, this is supposed to be the sort of budget or low cost offering. It doesn't come in a container, sadly. I would love it to be in a container, but it doesn't. Um, comes in this shrink wrap with the Pedro Fiasco uh, label. And this is a tallow base soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. It's still got some good ingredients in it, despite being a budget soap and a couple of butters, but it's not got all those exotic ingredients like the Super Blue Emu, the Chupacabra Oil, the Dragon Tallow, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I did make a good lather with it, and I look forward to having a great shave with it today. The scent, again, on this one, pomegranate and wood, it smells nice. Uh, scent strength right around that medium level, and uh, I'm looking forward to using it today. Uh, the razor for today is the Edwin Jagger 316, which I absolutely love. This was a, a gift from Jimmy from NYC Wet Shaving, and I love this razor. It's fantastic. The blade I'm going to use is the Cloud, uh, what's it called? Super Cloud Super Blades. Got Bruce Lee on the packaging there. So I think it's the first time I've ever used this blade, so that should be interesting. Let's just get into the shave today. I'm going to go ahead and mist the face, and this is just plain water if you're curious. And today's brush is the uh, AP Shave Co. Never can see which way the logo is on that AP Shave Co. Handcrafted series. And we, again, we've got a nice lather in this bowl. Uh, the one thing about the Pedro Fiasco, it lathers well. I kind of wish Pete would offer um, a container as well with the with the sticker on there. But I know this is meant to be for for folks who don't necessarily want a container or just want to puck. To use the consistency of the soap is it's not hard but it's relatively firm so <clears throat> you, it's a great value i can tell you that right now and it lathers really nicely i have tested uh, an early version of this and this one is uh, the latest formula and you know pete he's always tweaking things and so this is a little different from what i tested early on i've already got soap there under my lip <laughs> oh man, this smells great. I got to tell you, I really like the scent on this and I had no trouble lathering it and nor should you really have any, any trouble lathering an A&E Shaving Shop Club or now Pedro Fiasco product. That is nice. That is very nice indeed. All right, let's get into it because we could do that all day. That's fun. <laughs> let's set that down. Cut this back a little bit and we'll get into the shave. I hope you're all doing great today. I plan to have an excellent day starting with this hopefully excellent shave, but that's up to me, isn't it? How, how good or bad the shave goes. Very nice. I like the Edwin Jagger 316 razor. It brings some good efficiency. Um, definitely more so than the standard Edwin Jagger. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with the standard Edwin Jagger, but this one, it brings some additional efficiency. This particular one has a stainless steel head, but I believe this part is uh, aluminum. Um, but overall, it's a great looking razor and it's a good shaver. And I would go so far as to say, I think this razor is underrated. Um, it's a good shaver. It's got some good efficiency. Very nice. Tell you what, there is nothing to complain about with that. It's really good. And the soap is quite slick, as just about every soap on the market is these days. If you get the hydration in it, it's going to be slick. So 
so no worries there. Very nice. And again, I found the, uh, the soap easy to work with in terms of making the lather. Um, if you face lather, you can go watch uh, So Sharp David's recent video where he used this. He had an excellent lather with a nice sheen on it as well. So you can definitely make a nice, nice lather with this soap, no problem whatsoever. And again, it'll come to you, if you're a member of the club, under $8. And that is uh, for 3.65 ounces. I don't think I mentioned that um, early on. So pretty good value. And I have to say, um, it's working really, really well. So, um, nothing to complain about here. Personally, again, I'd like to have the option to maybe add on the container uh, with that sticker on the container, but that's just me. I mean, I can always find my own, but if I could get one with that sticker on it, already on it, that would be great. But I realize that's sort of not the objective of this soap. But I always have to be fair because in the past I've, I've talked about brands like uh, the Swedish Witch. And I said I thought she'd sell more soap if she sold them in containers. And, uh, you know, I feel the same way about this one. I'd like to have it. But there is a market for people who don't want containers. And so I completely understand that. Nice lather on this soap, though. I'm going to tell you that right now. No compromising quality here, I don't believe. Of course, if you get the regular, you know, Kaizen 2 or Kaizen 2E or whatever formula <laughs> Pete comes up with next, it's going to be chock full of all those exotic butters and ingredients that some of you really crave. Um, this one doesn't have as much, but it'll still give you a really nice lather, which is what I'm looking for primarily. Um, working pretty well, I would say. Sorry about that, folks. We had a little interruption there. My mom had to get something out of this uh, restroom. Not feeling well today. When she's on the chemo cycles, um, towards the end of the chemo cycle, she gets pretty ill. And I guess there was something in this restroom she needed. So I had to stop there for a minute and make sure she got whatever she needed so she could feel a little better. All right. That's enough, we don't need to lather all day, but it does make a really nice lather. I can tell you that it is not hard to work with. And you know me, uh, I find that soaps today are generally so easy to work with that if you find a brand where they don't meet your needs or that you have to really use a lot of finesse to use it, it for me it's not worth my time. Um, because there's so many choices, just use something that's easy to work with and makes you happy. And I would say this is one that's Definitely easy to use. We'll keep this one to two passes and clean up today as we try to do when we're down here to save time because I have a lot of stuff to do this morning. I have to uh, fix breakfast and take my mom to chemotherapy appointment and do some various things around the house here. But that's no problem at all. We just try to Shorten the videos just a little bit to give me just a few more minutes here and there because it does take me a little more time to, to get the day ready here. But that's no problem at all. Very nice. I love the Ed Edwin Jagger 316. Thank you, Jimmy. If you're watching, I really appreciate this razor. It is definitely a lifetime keeper for me. I love it. It's fantastic. Probably underrated again, I would say. Uh, I'm not sure why, maybe it's because it's coming from a, a bigger company and it's not artisanal. It's not an artisanal type razor. It's mass produced. Maybe that's why people tend to, you know, shy away from it. But it, in quality, it's very good. And uh, I'd call it about a medium, excuse me, efficient. And I think it uh, shaves well. The blade in here, I'm not crazy about this Bruce Lee, which is a shame um, because I love Bruce Lee. <laughs> Who doesn't, right? But uh, this blade isn't quite as smooth as what I'm accustomed to, but it's just the first use. So we'll definitely use every blade in the pack over time. It's not, it's not exceedingly rough to the point where I would change it, but it's just not silky smooth either like I would like it. So. I would say for me, first go the blade is just okay. I wouldn't put it at the top of my list or anything like that. 
Now let's come across here and just do a little touching up and there's plenty of residual slickness on this out. That razor is gliding very effortlessly and I'm sorry for not looking to the camera here, I forget. Um, I've got this camera placed in a corner in a very awkward position and I mostly have to use the screen because the mirror is over here so there's no easy way to, to shoot video in this bathroom but we do what we can, we make do. All right, man, there's a lot of residual slickness on this soap, I gotta tell you. For the money, not bad at all. Quite good. Let's see if we can get everything down there. And boy, I tell you, that was not a bad shave. That was not a bad shave at all. I really enjoyed it. All right, let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse and then we applied our Razor Rock Travel Allen. There was no stinging. So that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, scrapers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. And that's the way we like to do it here all the time. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse. We towed off with our Lancaster towel back there. And then we applied the magic made by Witches Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Excellent shave today with Pedro Fiasco, which is by A&E slash The Cube. This is their budget offering. I got to say, it made an excellent lather. Uh, there was a lot of residual slickness on it. So Pete has come up with yet another formula that works very, very well. The only thing I'd like to have is a container because now i got to find one of my own. But you know, what are you going to do? You can't have it all. <laughs> um, good soap, good scent. I liked it. Thumbs up. The Edwin Jagger 316 is really, uh, I think, a good razor. I think an underrated razor. It has some good efficiency. It looks great. It's handsome. Really, really nice. I enjoyed it. We used our AP Shaveco uh, Art Artisanal Series or Handcrafted Series, I think that's what he calls them, brush, and it's in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. And we're gonna finish it off again today with uh, Italian Barber Aquatico, because this is one of those kill aftershaves that I'm trying to use up, because I have so many splashes. We just gotta try to use some of the older ones up. Oh man, nice aquatic scent here. I really like it, really, really nice. Um, Razor Rock still has one called Aqua, I think. So if you're looking for an aquatic, it's pretty good too. And I have that also. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.